Good day and welcome to my garage. Right, we'll look at the um, replacing these bushings. I probably don't have to take the wheels off, but I think I've got a lot of wear in the uh, pin that's on this arm and the hole that's off through the axle. So we'll just pop this hub cap off. Just got an E-clip in the back here. This has got a roll of bearings in it. All bearings. Amazing. And that was not real crash hot. I can't see it, but it looks like it's only got a bearing on the outside. That's plastic. I'll have a look at that. Bit of wear in the in the uh, in the hole here. And a lot of wear on that pin. Hmm, okay. I'll drop this axle and uh, see what we can do with this. Well, not we, me. Uh, drop this axle. around here the axle looks okay where the bushings run now this stub axle is good but that hole, that hole is no good. You have to weld that up and re-drill it. Weld that up and re-drill it. Uh, I've got to get this, got to get that arm off, transfer arm, and um, repair at least, replace this pin at least leave it with me well this <clears throat> this is the height adjustment arm it trans transfers a height adjustment from the rear axle to the front axle to keep the deck level don't know what you would call it got a little bit ahead of the video and um, off camera I took out the pins. Now the pins, pins are a um, 
a 3.8 rod with a quarter inch step and you might be able to see it's hard to, it's hard to see isn't it there's a, there's a fair bit of wear in the pin so I've got to, got to make up two new pins so over to the lathe well that's the um, one of the new pins I've made uh, that's the old one alongside it probably a bit hard to see the wear oh, no. uh, but in here that's one pin I need to make a second one so uh, over to the lathe where actually this has been photographed on the lathe Maddie's workshops lathe um, Okay. Let's make it happen. Okay. I forgot to press recording earlier. Should be down to about two fifty four. Yep. And um, that's got to be a press press fit, and I think that will that will be a press fit. So the circ clip groove next. All right. Now for the circ clip groove, I'm just going to make a uh, marker position. to the left a little bit. Gotta come over to the left a little bit. I found the hacksaw blade to be the exact size and I can't get a, the calipers to go in there so this is more of a guess and I can't see it
Just needs a just needs a couple of thou taken out. That's it. No, it needs, a, it needs a couple of thou, couple of thou more. That's a bit too. T oh, hang on. Yeah, it's too tight. That's better. I think I might have gone too far, but I can close that clip up a little bit. Alright, part it off. the tool. That's the second pin. Okay, I've got to weld that hole up and re-drill it.
Well, that looks pretty good. Let's see what the other side says. Having the copper as a backing when I welded from the other side, it's given this a, uh, a, a good finish. It's come up really nice. Some layout fluid. Oh, I just got to take that out to nine and a half. That's nine and a half, let's see how that fits. It's too tight. Don't have to file it. Didn't want to, but um, bad luck. That's it. That's the front axle done. This is the rear axle and this is the hole that needs welding up and re-drilling um, for that, that height adjustment bar. Alright, I'll weld this up the same as I did on the front.
What's it? Yep, that's going in. Now this is the bar that um, goes from back to front axle. I drove the pins out of here, I ground the, ground the heads off because they were swaged in. I'm going to weld them in. So the new pins, I know which way to put them in because this is a side that I ground the, uh, the swaged over body. Beautiful. That was a nice tight fit. All right, I've got to do the other one and then weld them. The second one was a nice tight fit also, press fit. So, got to find my glasses. I can't see anything without them. Okay. socket on the outside and 11 on the inside. This body has uh, has sprung and needs to be pushed out. Hmm, interesting. Oh, hang on. There's a hole up the top here that I can use to uh, line everything up. Be careful, they're only quarter uh, quarter or six mil bolts. 
wouldn't take much to strip them or break them. Okay, the new clip is on the right, and that's the old clip. The old clip has a, this is where it was uh, wearing, and gone through the uh, plastic uh, bushing, was wearing on the, on the shaft. But you can see there's a bit of a dip in the whole thing, whereas the, the new one is just straight across. So let's let's put the axle in and see what happens. The kit also comes with these clips of sorts and I think they are to go in here should this area be damaged. But if I put these on, I can't get can't get the axle. Well, maybe. Maybe with a bit of encouragement. I retract everything I said about the uh, about the old spring having a shape in it. <coughs> it gets that shape. <coughs> it gets that shape. Pushing it in here. Now I've managed to clip just clip the hole. So I just got to finish it off. That's it. That's one. All I have to do now is find the hole at the top and do the same thing. Trouble is I can't see that hole. Well, as you can see, the bar is fitted up the back there, but now I haven't got room to go in here. So I don't know how this is going to fit either. So let's have a look. Don't lose the E clip. There we go. That's brilliant. How does that fit? Yeah, the bar's got to come from the inside. There's a spring. There to there is the spring, so I can't turn it around. Uh, let me sort this out. It's easy enough once you move the axle over. I painted the bar. That's why it's... Uh, that's why it's a bit hard getting in the hole. That 
that's it. Put the clips on. So front wheel, simple as. The clip. Where's the hammer? Don't see the hammer. Okay, back wheel. Now, I've lost the silly leaf clip. No, I haven't. Front axle now is nice and solid as it adjusts. Beautiful. Top job, if I do say so myself. <laughs> 